MicroRNAs have emerged in recent years as key regulators of disease and stress responses of various tissues. Several years ago, our lab focused on a heart-specific microRNA called MIR-208 and showed that it was, in fact, important for the ability of the heart to respond to stress. We then went on and worked with a biotech company to try to develop a drug to inhibit MIR-208. And while looking at the effects of that drug, we made the serendipitous observation that animals treated with the MIR-208 inhibitor were resistant to high-fat diet, but were otherwise completely healthy. Chad Gruder is the postdoctoral fellow who uh, led this work, and he's going to uh, say some more about it. So I'm going to briefly describe some of the details of the work that we conducted for our paper in cell. Using genetic gain and loss of function mouse models and pharmacological tools, we have unlocked a previously unrecognized role for the heart as a mediator of global metabolism. MIR-208 is an intronic microRNA located within the cardiac-specific alpha myosin heavy chain gene. It functions to inhibit translation of multiple targets, including MED13, also known as THRAP1. MED13 is a component of the large mediator complex. The mediator complex is a transcriptional hub that directly interacts with transcription factors to recruit and regulate RNA polymerase II dependent gene expression. MED13 generally functions to inhibit the core mediator dependent transcriptional process. Our work, published in Cell, demonstrates that increasing MED13 levels in the heart, either genetically or using anti-MIR-208, we can increase global energy expenditure, leading to resistance to high-fat diet-induced obesity and the metabolic consequences associated with increased fat storage. Conversely, deletion of MED13 in the heart leads to increased susceptibility to diet-induced obesity, and therefore, increases the metabolic consequences of obesity, such as glucose intolerance and fatty liver. The heart is a major consumer of energy. The human heart beats approximately 100,000 times a day, and it needs a constant supply of energy. Our work suggests the heart communicates with the body's energy storage to maintain its energy supply. Further work in the lab is focused on determining the signaling mechanism that controls this process. Obesity, uh, diabetes, coronary artery disease are obviously major causes of human morbidity and mortality. We feel that the work from this study has provided a, a really new and novel insight into each of these processes and has suggested ways that we could therapeutically uh, intervene by manipulating the cardiac axis through which uh, microRNA-208 and its downstream target, MED-13, control these uh, whole body metabolic processes.